Hello. This video talks about the latest features and developments in Kaleido MDM version 11. The focus of this release is usability, and we concentrated on four areas. A completely new MDM UI, brand new dashboards to give you visual snapshots of your data, data connectors to extract and load data from many types of data sources, and customizable menus. As part of our continuous effort to improve the user experience, the MDM UI has been completely refreshed. The new UI is easy to navigate and has an updated look and color scheme, but all the functionality remains the same. Now the menus are on the left and the submenus are under the main menus. You can collapse the menu bar to increase your screen real estate. Let's take a quick look around. When you log in, you're taken to a new Home dashboard, which I'll return to in more detail in a minute. Several functions have moved to new locations. For example, the logged in user information is now on the upper left. From there, you can change the role you are acting as, change your password, or log out. We've eliminated the browse options, so you just click categories to see your MDM categories. Clicking the category name takes you right to the category contents. So now, to view or edit a category template, you need to click the eye icon. Notice that when you look at the template, to improve usability, sections are collapsed by default. But you can expand any section to see its details. Workflow definition works the same way. When you view a workflow, by default the subsections are collapsed, which makes it easier to navigate. There are other changes in some frequently used options. For example, Deployment to the Master Context and Validate are under the Data Quality menu. Harmonization, Match Definitions, and Matching Stewardship are under the Matching menu option. And the User Documentation is right at the bottom of the menu list. Now let's talk about the brand new MDM dashboards. These new dashboards provide a graphical or tabular representation of various types of information. They're a quick way to find information about your data. By default, the new Home dashboard provides information on user activity, the number of records in workflow, as well as counts of published, working, and invalid records. You can drill into more detail right from there. But there are also a few other default dashboards data quality, user activity, tasks, and workflows. Let's have a look at the data quality dashboard. As you can see, all your data-related information is available here, including the number of published, working, and invalid records. There are even graphs that inform you about invalid and working records per category. In short, the data quality dashboard serves as one-stop destination for all your data-related information. Now let's go to the Workflow Dashboard. The top part of the dashboard shows consolidated information related to all your workflows, including the average time records have spent in a workflow. Workflow Details provide similar information for each workflow. Here's a quick look at the Authorization Workflow Details. But you can easily create new dashboards or customize the default ones. Just minor changes in the dashboard config files are required and you can find these files in your installation folder. For example, to move the working records widget after invalid records, we just need to change the location index of the working records widget to 4 and the invalid records location index to 3. You can also customize the name and size of the widgets. For more information, read the Modify Dashboards help topic. New data connectors let you extract and load data from lots of different sources right into MDM. Using a connector is a three-step process. First, you configure a connection to the source system and specify which object to connect to. Next, you map the columns in the source to the attributes defined on the MDM category. And finally, you run the staging loader to extract the data from the source and load it into MDM. Finally, we've completely changed the way you customize the menus. Consumers, providers, and administrators continue to see different menus based on their roles. But there are now role-specific JSON files which you can edit. You can add new menu items, update menu labels, and rearrange the order of the menus as necessary. 
This is an example of the menus a data consumer sees by default. You can change the name parameter to change the name of the home menu, rearrange the menu options, add new ones, and even change the menu icons. For more information, see the Modify Default Menu topic in the MDM user documentation. We're really excited about this release, and we hope that these changes improve your MDM user experience. To learn more, please refer to the MDM 11 release notes and user documentation. There's also another video that's being distributed with the software. It will take you through all the new menus to help you become familiar with where things are.